Good morning, Good morning, ESM. I'm Abby. I'm Christina. Today in honor of Bullying Prevention Month, we will be talking about bullying. 20% of students ages 12 to 18 have experienced bullying. 3.2 million students are victims of bullying each year. People get bullied for things like physical appearance, race, disabilities, religion, and more. We'll revisit this more after news. In news this morning, Hooters employees say new uniform shorts are too skimpy. The new shorts make the traditionally short shorts look even shorter. Hooters of America said in a statement to NBC News, these uniforms have been worn for months in several Texas markets and have received overwhelmingly favorable reviews from both Hooters girls and customers. They also said they appreciate feedback, feedback both the negative and positive regarding a more accommodating and inclusive policy on tattoos, jewelry, nails and hairstyles as well as uniforms. Yesterday, Dr. Rachel Levine made history again, not only being the nation's most senior transgender official, but also becoming the first openly transgender four-star officer across any of, the any of the country's eight uniformed services. The Assistant Secretary of Health was sworn in as an admiral, the highest ranking official of the U.S. Public Health Commissional Corps, becoming the organization's first female four-star four officer. She will be in charge of deploying the public health workers to respond to crises ranging from the pandemic to natural disasters. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Any student interested in playing baseball in the spring, there will be an important meeting Thursday 10 1021 at 7.51 a.m. in room D17. There is an important meeting for any 9th to 12th graders interested in playing baseball. See Coach Harrington with any questions. And any girl interested in playing varsity girls basketball, there will be a meeting Thursday in the big gym at 325. The varsity winter guard will have their tryouts today, October 20th, in the high school small gym. Tryouts will run from 6.30 to 9 this evening. See you all there. ESM Class of 2024 is hosting a fundraiser at Chipotle today, 5 to 9 p.m. Please support the sophomore class. You must take a flyer or if you want to order online, use the code 7WTPQBB. Bullying is an important subject and shouldn't be ignored. I agree. You can always talk to teachers in the building if you are being bullied or if you see it happening. Miss Williams, a global teacher, is a great person to talk to. Um, my first reaction would be to make sure that the student is okay and safe. Um, of course, initial reaction would be both, you know, sad that the student is going through that. Bullying is never okay. Um, after making sure the student's okay, I would just listen to what was going on um, and definitely help the student get the help that they need to make sure that the bullying ends. Another good person to talk to is school counselor Mrs. Montroy. Behaviors were happening, and I would definitely intervene and talk to both students and see if I could have a private kind of time with them and um, see if I could help the person that was being bullied. And then I would probably do a restorative meeting with them down the road so that we could restore the relationship and help them to. Um, interact better together in the future. And even the principal, Mr. Avellino. So one of the things that we uh, do when we, whenever we do see bullying is that we ask the students to come to the office or we will talk with them in the hallway. Um, it's important that students have a fair voice and that they're able to come down and speak and, and be honest about what's, what's going on. Uh, and then depending upon what the situation is, sometimes we will do a mediation, sometimes we will do a no contact contract, uh, but it's very important that we do not let it fester because when, when things just fester, they get larger and larger, and then that results in people being physical and then people getting hurt, and we don't want that. Grayson, who else might be a good person to talk to? Also, how is it going to be outside today during our mask breaks?
Any of the school psychologists like Miss Eaton Lobb and Miss Smith would be good. But under weather, today on Wednesday we will have a high of 71 and a low of 53, and today will be very warm with sunshine and some breezes. Overnight will mostly be cloudy with a few showers. Tomorrow on Thursday we will have a high of 71 and a low of 50 degrees. Thursday will be very similar to today because it will be warm and breezy but we will have a shower or two in the morning and some showers in the afternoon and evening. Friday will have a high of 56 and a low of 40 degrees with a few morning showers. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. Bullying can have a major effect, effect on people. It's not okay to bully people just because you don't like them or because you feel like it. It's hurtful to others and can cause mental health issues. If you feel you're being bullied, you can go to, the count, to counseling or the office. Or a trusted adult. Coaches are good people to talk to as well. Speaking of coaches, let's see what's going on with sports. The boys varsity volleyball team defeated Mid Lakes yesterday 3-1. The Spartans were led by juniors Cole Thomas and Ben Clappen, who each had 15 kills. Jake Franklin added 39 assists, and sophomore Jace Domers added 5 kills and 10 digs in the victory. The Houston Astros tied the series last night after beating the Boston Red Sox 9-2. The Los Angeles Dodgers got the first one of the series after beating the Atlanta Braves 6-5 last night, and the Braves now have a 2-1 lead in the series. The NBA's opening night last night included the reigning champs, the Milwaukee Bucks, beating the Brooklyn Nets 127-104, and the Golden State Warriors beating the Los Angeles Lakers 121-114. Congrats to Cole Thomas for Athlete of the Week. Cole is recognized as one of the best all-around volleyball players in Section 3. He is currently in top five in both kills and digs, and is considered to be one of the best overall passers in the league. He looks to lead the Spartans into sectional play later this month. Congratulations to Rachel Ladd for Athlete of the Week. Rachel continues to lead the way for the Spartan Lady Spartan Harriers, finishing first last week at JD and improving her times in preparation for the postseason. Congrats to Spartan News' own Leah Rem for Athlete of the Week. Leah is leading the team and section for in goals and has six game-winning goals so far this season. In upcoming games, the girls' field hockey team plays Homer at 6.30. The boys and girls' cross country has a meet at Beville at 5.00 and the volleyball team has an away game against Central Square at 6.30. And with that being said, I'm Tanner with your sports. From us and everyone in the morning show, have a great day.